In addition to the electrothermal simulator in ADS, ADS now has a thermal floor planner tool which works in the layout page. I would like to demo this to you now. You see in this example I want to show you, let's say I receive some specs to design a power amplifier. See before I go and spend a lot of time designing the amplifier, creating matching networks and bias networks and spend a lot of time, it would be a good idea to make sure my devices are thermally reliable. So this is where the thermal floor planner comes into play. Just to show you before I start the demo, the floor planner tool in ADS works in the layout page. Uh, you can access it through the tools menu and you will see at the bottom there's thermal floor planner that has a setup, add a heat source, solve for temperatures. So the first step is you click on the setup and you browse to the thermal technology file where it's located and then you define your boundary conditions. Um, these uh, parameters here I'm just using the default values and uh, so this is really it. The, the most important thing is to really define the boundary condition and the, to browse for the technology file here. The second step is to add a heat source. So you click add heat source and it opens a dialog box where you can put the device name. You can choose of the power dissipation of the device or define the current and voltage then you can define where in in what layer you wanna uh, put that heat source in the metallization nichrome like for a resistor nichrome resistor or for a transistor or resistor you can use the mesa layer and then you can define the uh, array or matrix of fingers where you wanna put in 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 the layout to to simulate once you define the fingers, all you have to do is go to the solve for temperatures and it will give you the temperature profile of that device you placed. So let me show you the demo. If I open this layout, notice here I have one device, which is my first stage, and I have two sets at the output, which I will combine the, the power. If I click on this, notice that dialog box I mentioned to you, I define, I say this device is running at 5 volts and it's uh, it drawing 60 milliamps total. I'm using the heat mesa for the heat sources here, the, the layer, and I'm defining, you know, these this array, the fingers. Notice I have four rows, one, two, three, four, and one column, and I'm defining the pitch, the distance between each, the center of each finger, 24.15 micron which which I know already from my device layout same thing here at the output I have 5 volts 120 milliamp so as this one now the next step is go to tools I solve for temperatures so it opens up the temperature profile as seen here and notice my maximum temperature on the left side here is 204 degrees that's very hot and you can look at the profile here so we must do something to reduce the temperature before we start the design so I close this and I go to cell number two what I decided to do to reduce the temperature is to have devices with two fingers and separate have separation here still if you click on this you will notice that it's 5 volts 30 milliamps so as this one 5 volts 30 milliamps the total is 60 milliamps just like before same thing here which has double the current 560 560 and etc it's 240 milliamps at the output so I have this trial to to see what temperature profile it gives me so I solve for the temperatures here hmm notice now the temperature dropped down to 158 degrees maximum so you can see by separating the fingers and combining the power at the output from the devices it does help so you as a designer decide what you want to do to separate smaller devices and combine the power for this or not go further with more trials in this cell cell number three I decided to add the via see the device has a source vias anyway and if I run this notice 
that I get 9 degrees lower with the vias because the heat goes through the via dissipate down to ground and it help it helps cool the device at the output here so you can see now it is uh, cooler with the vias cell number four what I did I, I went ahead and put the actual layout of the device if I look here and I select the heat Mesa notice that I still have all the heat sources as before I just overlay basically the layout of the transistors on top of the heat sources and what I did in this uh, experiment here also is I added also some resistors <coughs> I use the heat nichrome nichrome layer and there's another resistor here I used the heat mesa a layer to create this resistor and also put 0 0.05 watt so with this <clears throat> with this scenario here let's see what kind of temperature now I do get because this is what I'll be using so notice here the temperature dropped down because the the device itself has some metal also that takes the heat out and connects the vias together so it dropped down to 119.6 maximum temperature and here's the profile and you can see the resistors now but you know 119.6 it's uh, low enough to go ahead and start my design now I can go ahead and put the matching networks interstage output power combiner have some confidence uh, that my PA is going to be reliable with the temperature. So I hope you like this demo. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask. Thank you.